Hey everyone, it's Kristen from the Yarngasm Podcast and Villain Vine Yarns, and today I thought I would take some time to answer a question that I get asked quite a lot, and that is, what sewing machine do I use and how did I get started sewing? So as you can see on my sewing desk, I happen to have a sewing machine, and it is a Janome New Home 2212. So the ideal way to shop for a new sewing machine is to go to your local sewing machine dealership, sit down with a couple of machines, take them through their paces, and find the one that works best for you. In a perfect world, this is how I would have shopped for my machine. However, in my world, there are just not enough hours in the day and I don't have a local sewing machine dealership. So what I did was I took to the internet, read a whole bunch of online reviews, and watched some YouTube tutorials and recommendations, and this is the machine that resonated the most with me. So I guess you could say I took a total gamble, and yes, you are correct, but I have to say I could not be more pleased with my purchase. I love this machine because it has no fancy bells or whistles. It can only do a straight stitch, a zigzag stitch, and with some minor adjustments for stitch length and width. The only fancy trick it can do is a buttonhole because buttonholes, they're important sometimes. And to be totally honest, if you're just sewing garments or project bags or what have you, you really don't need a fully tricked out sewing machine to get the job done. But what I really love about this machine is that I feel like I will never outgrow it. So even if you're a newbie sewist, intermediate, advanced, you will just grow along with it. So I really don't see myself purchasing a new machine until this one bites the dust, which will be a very sad day. Okay, so now you have your machine. Now what? How do you get started? Where do you begin? I started sewing maybe about two years ago, maybe a little more, and I by no means consider myself to be an expert sewist. I still have a lot to learn. But this is how I got started sewing. I basically took to the internet, I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos, as much as I could find on just getting started sewing, small projects. My very first legit project was a project bag. And those are really great beginner projects. They're simple, they're quick, you can whip one up in an hour, and they teach you the basics, especially how to stitch in a straight line. Because once you learn how to stitch in a straight line, you're gold. That's just half the battle. But then I stumbled on this website called creativebug.com, and they offered this really great class called Sew Your Own Clothes with Deborah Creedling, and she teaches you how to sew this skirt. It's a simplicity pattern, and she basically shows you how to make this skirt from start to finish. And it's such a great class because you learn so many essential techniques just by sewing this one skirt. There's a waistband, there are pockets, there's a zipper. So creativebug.com, they actually offer a 14 day trial. And after that, the subscription kicks in, but I believe it's only $5 per month. And I find that I actually use the site for learning new techniques when it comes to sewing. So definitely check it out. The other video that I stumbled on that I highly recommend because you guys, it's completely free, is a two hour gathered skirt making class with the lovely and amazing Gretchen Hirsch, who is, again, the very wonderful author of Gertie's new book for better sewing. I have all of her other books in my sewing library and cannot recommend them more. She has an excellent teaching style and she takes you through every one of her patterns step by step. She has diagrams and illustrations and spells everything out in layman's terms for you. I highly recommend that you get your hands on her books, especially if you're a fan of retro vintage styles like me. The other sewing book that I highly recommend for newbie sewists is Dressmaking, the complete step-by-step -step guide to making your own clothes by Allison Smith, who happens to be one of my favorite sewing instructors. I've signed up for pretty much all of her classes on Craftsy, so definitely check it out. This book basically is the bible of everything you need to know about sewing, techniques and tips and tricks and everything, and there are even some patterns included, so definitely give it a look-see. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and I guess I will leave you with three tips for getting started with sewing. The first being, if you are still a little hesitant or intimidated about getting started with sewing, you guys, just go for it. Dive right in. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. You have nothing to lose. Just have fun with it because honestly, sewing is fun. It really is. Once you get the swing of it, there's no turning back. My second tip is leave your machine out. Don't put it away in a closet. Leave it where you can see it because you'll be more likely to use it every day. Granted, I know, I'm lucky enough to have a dedicated sewing table where I can leave everything out. Some of you might not have that luxury, uh, but you know, find a corner, a nook, a cranny, a, an empty space on your wall just to have a little table with your sewing machine and you will be surprised. Just seeing it every day will wanna motivate you to sew. And my last but not least tidbit for getting into sewing is to practice, 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 practice. A little bit every day if you can, 
30 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you can manage. The more you do it, the better you'll get, as a friend once told me when I was still learning how to sew. So that said, again, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will also post linkage to everything that I mentioned in this video down below as well. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to this channel below. Every week I publish a new video podcast about what I've been making, primarily knitting and sewing. It's a lot of fun, so definitely check it out. So that said, happy sewing and I'll see you next time. Bye.